Hey guys, Butterbiscuit here for a free to play Friday. What I'm trying to accomplish here is to review a free to play game uh, that is kind of popular right now if you go on to Steam. Um, as you can tell, I haven't really played any of this. That's just uh, the time it took to launch the game and go through the little launcher and everything they have. Now here, uh, just to get the kind of... I'm going to ask five basic questions, in my opinion, for, for a free-to-play game. Um, and I'll go ahead and put those in the description. And I will answer them throughout the video. And I'll have the answers in the description. So if you just want to get the answers and then kind of maybe see my uh, explanation as to why I think that, uh, that'll be in the video. Um, but the just the cut and dry answers will be down in the description for you. Um, right here I can create a, a wizard. Right off the bat it tells me how difficult it's going to be. I almost never believe those. Um, I don't think for the most part that these that these uh, things are ever... I mean, because there's only one easy to play class. That kind of... That makes me think that maybe there isn't. Um, I'm also going to kind of run through this pretty quick. I don't really want to... Um, spend too much time sitting in the uh, the character creation. Now obviously I could go male, which would look pretty badass, but I'm playing the game so I mean I'm gonna wanna look at maybe a different kind of body. It says difficulty hard. Uh, again, I don't necessarily think that that's gonna be uh, the truth. We're gonna go ahead and go uh, name ourselves Butter Biscuit. Very uh, very simple. Oh, it's available. Crazy. Nobody took that. Um, and obviously, it allows you to go through and create your character. This has become pretty standard uh, in the the uh, world of MMOs now. Um, I mean, you can go to pretty much anything, but I'm probably just going to go generic. Uh, I would like to see, I mean, there's some presets, which is cool, but I would like to see more of a um, a random button. I always like the random identification. I'm going to go, I don't, I, I mean, that's a nice outfit, you know what I'm saying, but I'm going to go ahead and wear that one. I don't know if I actually take that with me or not, but yeah, I, th I just start here. So let's go ahead and... Um, oh, standard mode. Classic MMORPG control mode. Choose a target with your cursor and trigger skills with your hotkeys. Or you can go action driven control mode. Aim your reticle at your target and use the mouse buttons to cast skills. Skills can also be triggered using hotkeys. I prefer the classic MMORPG control mode, but for the sake of the this game saying that I should probably use this for my class I'm gonna go ahead and do the action I do like that they choose they let allow you to choose between those two that's pretty cool because sometimes I found games that I don't like the action MMORPG aspect of it so my buddy might love it but I can't um, I can't uh, really get into it because it doesn't have a, a play style suitable to me um, so the five questions I'm going to be asking, I'm going to go go ahead and uh, start asking those now. Uh, is it worth downloading or playing beyond the first 15 minutes? Uh, some games are pretty large. I'm going to go ahead and just skip this cutscene, by the way. Um, but wake up! I'm getting you out of here. This action mode, okay. With any luck. Okay, I can look at princess yet. Okay. Okay, it's doing a little tutorial. Um, what I want to do is is answer, is it worth playing after the first 15 minutes? The reason I ask this, if, if it's even worth downloading, um, because some games are pretty big, and it, if you don't have the best internet in the world, or if you don't have all the space in the world, is it even worth downloading and trying out? Um, I mean, you can tell a lot from this video, I'm sure, whether it's going to be a game that you like. So far, graphics, um, the graphics I do, I am enjoying. Um, pretty responsive when I click, it, it was pretty quick. Uh, I would have to delve into this is an MMORPG, so I'd have to. I would definitely say this game is probably going to be worth the first hour or so. Um, all right, it, it throws you right into combat, so I'm liking that already. Um, wow, dead. Okay, uh, is there a way to tell what my skills do? 
Flash cut, dagger rush, and chain pull. Okay. Yeah, they know you're here. Um, from what I read about this game, it's, it's pretty cool. You get to collect some, um, you get to collect some, like, minions. So you get to collect a bunch of dragon. Or just, like, it, it's Pokemon-esque in a way, I guess, what people are saying. Um, let's go ahead and kill these Rhino Guards. Uh, okay, that's my charge, basically, to get closer to enemies. That's a nice, deathly skill. Um, and my my next question is, is it pay to win? You know, I, I don't actually know yet, but it looks like the shop... Oh, I cannot open the shop, so I'll have to answer that one later. Um, and that may be just in the description, and I will let you guys know if I am even able to answer that question during this uh, 15 minutes. Um, and, the, you know, the next question is, uh, is the game able to be played casually? So far, it looks like it is. I mean, um, it looks like I'll be able to have some fun if I play, uh, Where? you know, quite a bit. Um, or... Um, let me see, alt key, okay, oh, we're out okay, of cool, that was, I don't know why I needed to do that, but I did. Um, it, so far it seems that, that I would be able to play this game on my own, but I would want to play it probably with, uh, or not on my own, I'd be able to play this game quite a bit, um, I could either get really into it, or I might just, you know, only log on for an hour or so a day, uh, whatever I kind of have the time for, but as it... As it is an MMO, um, as it's an MMO, it's probably going to take more uh, more time than, uh, say, just to log on, you know, for a few minutes a day. Um, okay, I got aggro somehow. Um, I do like that there's a hero right now. I don't know why that... Uh, Destroy the stone? What? How do I... Okay. That was weird, because it wouldn't let me uh, target it. So I had to escape. Tab. Oh, wow. There is some latency on here. Um, and the uh, the next question is, do I want to... Would I want to play this uh, solo or with the party? Now, a lot of people... Um, you know, might want to be able to play a game on their own, and as an MMO, again, uh, you're going to be able to play it on uh, on your own, but most MMOs are going to be, you know, more suited towards uh, party play. But so far, it looks like they, they are catering towards a single-player uh, experience as well, and leveling will oftentimes be uh, either way, you know, but again, this is first impressions. I don't. I may not be able to fully in depth answer these questions, but it it looks as if I'm gonna have um, be able to be uh, a little bit social if I want. Um, no, no. And my last question is gonna be the overall. Oh, this is awesome. They're already letting me do what the game uh, is is. This way. It is promoting, which is flight combat now is it gonna be the good flight combat or uh, is it gonna be bad that's kind of the, oh, the question it's pretty easy control um, space just low uh, makes me go higher um, it tells me how t how high up I am and if I can go any higher okay uh, and yeah Okay, wow, that's how you go faster. Hit f W and space, and that'll allow you to go faster. Looks like you need to get some height in order to make that happen. But once you get that height, then you can... Okay, how do I... Oh, I have to double tap space bar. It's pretty cool. Um, and the last question I'll be asking is my overall rating. And that one I'll definitely give at the end. So far it's looking pretty decent. Um, it's not the best. Yeah, so you party board to recruit party members. It's definitely going to be more of a party play game, I'm sure. And when I ask party play, that question is, am I going to want friends with me? And right now it's looking like I will. It's very fun, but with, with tameable minions or pets, at the same time... Um, 
Okay. I don't. Uh, oh, that's my daily rewards. Um, let's see if I can open up that um, shop yet. Yeah, I can. So let's see what we can buy in here. Uh, first of all, I don't know the exchange rate, so we're just gonna exclude the the, the exchange rate. We're just looking. Um, a random flying familiar skin, a random ground familiar skin, a random familiar skin. Dismantles a familiar skin. Okay. Convenience. Bag. It's looking a little bit pay to win. And, and I don't mean pay to win as in like you're going to be like the best in the world. But one thing that I, I look for in these, um in these shops is if I put money into this game am I going to get a huge benefit in the game from it um, so for example like World of Warcraft does a good job in my opinion of having an aesthetics uh, um, sort of shop whereas in here this is buying my my bags um, getting um, like health potions are okay they don't really bother me but experience buffs those are huge things that uh, I, I do I'm kind of eh about um, but it doesn't look overall game breaking except for this lucky box where you're gonna get um, you're gonna get some familiars now I don't know because when I go to the shop which is control s when I go to the shop Illoon looks like these coins, but I, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the exchange rate and if this is a lot or a little. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more quests. See where we, uh, where Lovely we go. Up. Complete. What did I get? A recall stone. It moves you to the last register recall. Okay. And F uh, is going to go ahead and get everything done. I reached level two. I got two Illoon for that. Talk to so Crow. that's cool. Talk to Crow. Hey Crow, how we doing? Good to see you again. Yeah. Okay. Except. Really and what's this? Whatever. We'll do this by. event. I don't. Hey, are you okay? I did it. Good job. Hurry. Event. Uh, I don't know what the difference between a event. Yes, I got that. Tutorial. Thank you, tutorial. Okay. Obtain a potions bottle. Okay, so it already has a quest tracker. It tells you where you need to go. Um, I like that aspect of it. Oh, come on. You can combo your skills by holding down the skill key. Don't know what that means, but I agree. Wow. They uh, like to give you achievements, like, right out the gate, though. Um, okay. I need to defeat some ferocious boars. Looks like I'm getting a little system lag, which is uh, a little concerning, considering... Wow. That was, uh, that was easy. Can I open this crate if they're opening this crate? It looks like I cannot. I don't have the authority to do that. But overall, looking pretty cool. Um, I don't know how to team yet, but there is a there is a way to do it. I know that much. What? I just one shot. Okay, a little too easy there, folks. Um, oh, I need to defeat ferocious boars tonight. Was that not a... That's a woodland boar. Ferocious boar. There we go. Oh, I like that it, um, it auto-moved me to where I needed to be. So, overall, this game's looking pretty good. Um, to move your camera. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Um, but let's, uh... Let's review the the oh, treat wounded. Review these questions. I definitely think this game is worth playing uh, past the the first 15 minutes or even downloading it. It's looking like it holds some promise. You might find a game that you really enjoy. You might not, and that's the the chance you take with an MMO. Do I think that this MMO is going to be groundbreaking? No. Do I think putting 10 to 100 hours into this game is going to be plausible for most MMO players? Yeah, I mean, if they really want to try a new MMO, um, is it going to be a WoW killer? No, of course not. I mean, I really don't think that it will be. Um, you know, I mean, they're not, other than the minions, which I have yet to discover, uh, having minions, 
Um, oh, let me see. Oh, so now I now I have a minion on my shoulder or something. Let's see, information character. Yeah, so I guess that's my one of my minions. So he gives me a hundred health. So that's what he does. That's that's neato. That's cool. Defeat ten monsters. Um, let's see. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, that is. I have two skills to get me close to enemies, uh, which will really help in like chaining enemies, um, and leveling. But if I wanted to do such a thing, I don't. But it's cool. Um, let's see. Was there anything else in that inventory of mine? No. But I did get twenty alone, so that's don't cool. Just stand there. Fill that bucket quickly. We those boars chose a bad time to go crazy. Uh, okay. So the event seems more like side quests, whereas there's like an, a, a regular main storyline. Um, is it pay to win? I would say, uh, kind of. Not not necessarily pay to win. It doesn't look like you have anything game breaking from the shop, but I couldn't possibly answer that without delving deeper into the game. Um, is the game played casually? Yeah, I think. I mean, I could log off right now and I'd be able to jump back on and uh, be happy with what I'm doing um, and be able to play for another 10 minutes or two hours or uh, whatever time allots for me, you know, life, uh, however it might give me the time to do it. I think I'd be fine. Um, and let's see. Um see the last thing dragon veiled gloves do you want to equip yeah sure that's cool that it asked me if i want to uh, equip the things i just got cool that's for cooking what's this skills oh i get to do i get to choose one i can level it up uh, is it just telling me that i leveled it up or did i actually level it up i don't know i don't know it's a, a combo do, 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 do. I, I don't understand how to use this. But anyway, um, to use a familiar energy potion, control right click a familiar. Okay. Um, all right. Is the game game? You're probably gonna wanna. Uh, you're probably gonna be able to solo play and party play, and and it depends on your your wants and needs. Um, it doesn't seem like you have to at this point be in a party or not be in a party. The gameplay is easy enough that you're going to be able to run around and, and do whatever you need to do. Um, but if you um, if you were to have a couple friends jump online, you'd be able to play uh, play together and, and run around and, and kill some stuff. Um, let's see. And overall first impression rating, I'd probably give this a solid... Out of five, I'd probably give this a solid 3.8. Um, it's not the best game in the world so far. Nothing has, like, uh, just absolutely, um, you know, like, broken my mind on what they're doing. But... At the same time, it's a very solid game. It's running pretty smoothly. Everything kind of registers. Um, it seems to be uh, there you are. that it's the quests uh, are working fine. The the English is good. It's just it's it's all all over. It seems like a pretty decent, um, pretty decent game. Um, and they give you plenty of side quests to be doing as well. To do good. So, and it already ju jumps you off right into to, But, all right, anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's it um, for this video now. I mean, hopefully you kind of got uh, what the game's about without having to download it. Um, any any questions or comments down on the bottom um, it would be awesome. I'll be able to answer any comments, and I will most likely continue playing this game now that I have uh, made a made a first impression of it. It's actually a pretty solid game, and uh, I might even make a let's play out of it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks uh, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if it was, please let me know. If it wasn't, then well. Uh, let me know as well. 
Awesome, guys. I uh, hope to see you next time, and uh, have a biscuit.